singer friends and welcome back to Dynamic Voices TV. I'm your dynamic coach, Alyssa Harris. Today I have a really fun video for you guys. Well, it's fun to me because today we're going to be talking about my two favorite things, singing and teaching singing. Um, so as many of you know, I've been a professional vocalist for over 10 years, singing full time. And I've loved singing so much my entire life that when it was time for me to choose a career after college, the first thing on my mind was how can I make a living doing what I would essentially do for free? The rest is history. I turned my passion into my profession a second time around when I began vocal coaching and helping other singers meet their singing goals. And as you can imagine, it was a turning point for me as an artist and as a creative because believe it or not, singing and teaching singing are two completely different skill sets. But I've been incredibly grateful to make that transition and it's been a rewarding experience for me. Uh, in so many ways, it's given back to me. So as I've been reflecting, I put together this list of five ways that becoming a vocal coach has helped me become a better singer. Let's just jump right in. Okay, the first way that becoming a vocal coach has helped me become a better singer is that I am learning to be more patient with myself. I coach singers from all different backgrounds and some are already experienced singers, some have never sang outside of the shower. And uh, what they all have in common is they have set singing goals that they're determined to reach. With the time and dedication that it takes during the process of voice lessons, one thing that I always emphasize to my students is that getting better at singing just like anything else or any other instrument, is a process and it's one that takes time, one that takes effort, patience, and a lot of practice. So nothing happens overnight and that's something I really like to just like drill into my students is that things are going to take time, they're going to be a process. And when I see them making progress, I see certain concepts clicking for them and they're hitting those milestones, it's really inspiring to me as a singer. It shows me that no matter where you are in this process, reaching your goals, it's just that, it's a process. So taking time to recognize the puzzle that's coming together, it has to come together in pieces. And that's advice that I preach, but I also like to take for myself. Number two, I'm learning to be more fearless with trying new things. So my students inspire me every single day uh, to move outside of my comfort zone and try new things. I've gotten into a routine of what music that I like, what music I feel is best for me and for my voice, and you know things that I feel mostly comfortable with. And there's nothing wrong with that inherently, right? but it has caused me to fall into a routine of doing the same styles over and over again, intending to not venture out into new styles and new genres. So when I hear one of my singers saying something like, well, I've only sung country and I really want to try like contemporary R&B or I want to do more, more pop music or they say things like, I'd love to learn how to riff or do different styles or belt stronger. It makes me think of the endless things within music and singing that there are to do. There's endless things to try. There's so many, there's a large spectrum of things to discover within singing. So I always get inspired. And whenever we're doing our warm ups and our exercises, sometimes I come up with new ideas and it like allows me to be really creative and try new things. The third thing that I've learned being a vocal coach uh, that has made me a better singer is that I should practice more. It inspires me to practice more and to take a break in the day, break up the day by sitting down, practicing, taking an hour to really work and focus on my craft. The saying goes, practice what you preach. Nothing could be more applicable than me holding myself accountable as a vocalist to try the things that I try to drive home to my singers. In our voice lessons, we have one hour to relieve the stress of the day, just to focus, to kind of shut out everything that's going on, take deep breaths and express ourselves with vocal joy. And it really does feel like a release. 
In my singing career, I run into so many periods of time where I get so busy that I can't practice. I'm just going, 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 and I'm working a ton, and so often I just don't get any time to get any practice in. When singing is your job as opposed to your hobby, you know, it can be hard to make time for the fun kind of aspect of it. I'm constantly inspired by my students who have varying schedules, you know, full-time jobs, families, all different kinds of activities going on, full-time gigs, part-time gigs, and they still want to make time in their schedule to do their lesson. And that's really amazing to me because I think that is super important, that we take the time away from all the craziness of life to sit and focus on our craft in focusing on practicing and focusing on getting better. So I'm really inspired by my students that keep coming week after week to dedicate time and effort to singing. It's amazing. When we do the vocal warm-ups with my virtual students, I play and I do the warm-up and then they repeat after me. So I am kind of warming up with them and so it definitely helps me get into like a nice relaxed mood. Whenever I start singing, I just get in a good mood. You know how it is. Number four is that I take better care of my health, my vocal health, and my mental health. I recognize how precious our instrument truly is. I regularly tell my students how voices, especially our singing voices, are brilliantly unique and we have intricately crafted instruments that are totally one of a kind and completely different from every other instrument and type of instrument in the world. I love to emphasize this uh, to my singers and how important it is to treat our voices with the highest regard and the highest love and the highest respect and really treat it as something very sacred. So each time I tell a singer that, you know, you gotta make sure you're drinking enough water, you gotta make sure you're warming up thoroughly, you gotta make sure that you're doing Doing all of these things that honor your craft, you know, I am taking, I'm telling them to take care of themselves, but that's reflecting on me as well. I think twice, you know, whenever I'm gonna have another drink or I'm gonna, you know, drink juice instead of water. I think, is this gonna be good for my voice? Is this gonna be good for me, you know, in the long term? Am I gonna be able to sing as high as I want to sing tomorrow if I stay all stay out all night and yell? <laughs> um, it can be, you know, I try not I try to tell people not to be hard on themselves and that's another thing that I have to adopt for myself. I tell you as a student, don't be hard on yourself. Practice forgiveness towards yourself. I have to practice that towards myself too. The number five way that my vocal students help me become a better singer is that I keep finding new ways to fall in love with singing. The passion that my students have for singing and music and reaching their goals, it rubs off on me. It's just so contagious. And when they arrive in their lessons, they're enthusiastic and you know, I ask them, okay, what are your goals? What are your singing goals? Where do you see yourself? Um, what do you see yourself accomplishing as a singer? and what would an end goal be for you and why, right? I'm always delighted with the enthusiasm and the desire that my students have when it comes to this art form and hearing all of the ways that singing has impacted their lives positively and how singing is going to continue to impact their lives positively. It's so inspiring to me and every single day that I'm around someone with that energy, I get that energy and it just makes me fall in love with my passion all over again. I get reminded of the passion that I had for singing when I first started singing professionally and the passion that keeps coming back and keeps reigniting itself after every milestone that I would meet. So it really reminds me to enjoy the process, trust the process, enjoy the ride, and do my best and keep an open mind and just do everything that I can to just become a little bit better little by little and really just enjoy singing in its entirety. Now, that is the video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, go ahead and leave me a nice big like. And if you really like the video, consider subscribing because I post a lot of really fun singer-related topics and advice. There's contact information in the description box below if you wanna connect with me further. My website has several different resources for singers, including voice lessons, audition prep, um, coaching, and wellness programs made just for singers. Check that out.